announce the fact that it is a no-go area and there's no one being raped and uh, there's no one being mugged and, uh, well, not until Carl wakes up and gets dressed. I mean, the thing is, people have been coming here, I guess, for uh, a long time. I mean, not just a decade, but, uh, I mean, centuries. So I suppose it's like, uh, I don't know, you know, it's people have been coming here for such a long time that... Uh, it's like uh, migration. I mean, like to come around and uh, socialise legally, you know. I mean, I think a lot of it is the no-go area attracts people on the grounds that everyone can smoke in their own home and it's cool if you're, if you're not in business in the attitude. But, I mean, you can smoke in your own home, but to come here and sit down and to, to, to accept it, I mean, it would be like prohibition on the outside in this place with popping with bottles. I mean, it's silly, you know, that people have to come and to do this illegally, I may add. And the, the press, it's a guess. It, it, there's a group of people called the Mutants, right? I mean, I don't know whom they are, but anyway, the press seemed to. They mentioned that the Mutants were arriving to join their other hippie friends. Now, these Mutants are supposed to be criminals and anarchists and thieves, and they live on other people's land. I mean, it sounds like the monarchy, really, but they're not the monarchy, they're mutants. But the way they incline that everybody that come here must be, must be an, an, an anarchist or... Uh, or uh, something really antisocial, and the truth of the matter is that these people are most probably the most fucking sociable people in the country. The other morning, Sunday morning, you know, last Sunday morning, at 5 o'clock, 5 a.m., they send over a dozen or two dozen helicopters, really low down, you know, with the jet boost thrust on, you know. So it's just noise and intimidation. Now, pilots don't think of that. They're not allowed to think about that. That's orders from up there, you know. And someone's paying £3,000 an hour to harass us in one of I those jobs. I think the worst thing I should imagine the ruling classes did to us was educate us. And now we know. And now we know it's a con. Lord, uh, the man that owns all the land as far as the eye can see, Radnor, said in a speech once, you know, he had the right to own it because his father had it. You know, his father fought for it. OK, well, let's step in the fucking ring, son, you know, because we're talking about 15,000 acres, you know. So it's not on. And this... These people should be encouraged to, to live like this because in the future of the post-industrial Britain, when, as the economy is decaying and as the only producing uh, effect is made by machines, the redistribution of wealth won't be there like the old-fashioned use of labour. I mean, if you, own a, if you own a factory which are full of people, then the profits go out in wages and it redistributes through the system. But if you own a factory full of machines, you don't pay the bastards, you know. It goes into Switzerland and off to Hong Kong and there you go. So. It, you become a, an alienated society from the real economy. So they'd better be aware that, I guess, in the next decade, a million people are going to fall out of London. So they better be prepared to put them somewhere, otherwise they're just going to help themselves. I mean, people got to go somewhere and sleep at night. Best flash, black hash cakes, king-size papers, fresh tuna fish sandwiches, freshly caught, freshly made tuna. Muesli, no milk. Orange, orange juice to drink. Orange. <laughs> <laughs> Hash cake. Stuff full of black. Where's the jug? Good black hashcakes. <laughs> hashcakes. Best black hashcakes. Get stoned for a pound. It's been pretty good most years. Uh, last year was the first year I didn't come here and. Uh, Oh, generally, it's been a good time. Ha! Ah, you got me again. So I play guitar and a bit of keyboards, and Julie sings. And we had a drummer from another band over there last night with us. He was, he was really good. He really pushed the music along.